Hello everyone, welcome to another session of JavaScript. In this session, we are going to discuss about error handling in JavaScript. No matter how good you are in programming, you will make a mistakes at one point of time. These mistakes can lead to an error. So and the error will stop the application flow or functional flow. So now let us see how to handle the errors in JavaScript. So I have the simple HTML page where I have the test box and here I would like to display the name that user enters in the test box on the fly. So for that I will be listening to the key up event of this test box. So we know that using add event listener you can listen to any event. And if you are not aware of add event listener, please watch my video. So constant name element document dot query selector. TXT name is the ID of this test box. Element dot add event listener. Key up event we are going to listen. And here I am going to write the callback function which will be fired on this key event listener. So here I am going to assign the value of this test box to the span element document dot query selector dot inner html equal to name element dot value. That's it. Now let us go and see here. So type something John. You can see John Smith. So good. Let me zoom it a bit. So let me clear it. We see it is cleared. Same way, let me enter some other name and you can see it. So, so far, so good. Now, let's say here instead of the name element dot value, by mistake, I assigned some other name, like let's say username. And this is the variable which is not defined. So, what will be the output? So, now let me go and type something again John. Smith, you can see that nothing is happening. So as a end user, he feels that nothing is happening and something broken. But as a developer, you know that using developer tools, you can see the error or warnings. So let's press F12. Oh, you can see that 12 errors and the error is uncaught reference error. And the message is username is not defined. And you can see that app.js line number three. So when you click on it, you can see that here is the error. So document query selector and line number three. So this error details completely we can get it. So this is called error stack. Now we need to show some message to the user. Otherwise he can't know that something went wrong. For that we need to use the try catch block. So let me write try block. So what is the try block? So try block is the place where we put our code that we would like to execute. So try block and let me keep this content inside the try block. So whenever the code that is placed in the try block through the error, something has to catch that error. So for that we have the catch block. So catch block and this will take the parameters and that is called exception or error. So now let's save it and go and see now. So what will happen? Now again, type again John Smith. Now you can't see anything on the screen. At the same time, you can't see any error on the console also. That is because we don't have any code in the catch block. So the try block is throwing error and catch block is executed because whenever try back throws the error the corresponding catch block will be executed here the corresponding catch block for this try block is this one so this will be executed but since we don't have any code here so we can't see anything so let me just console dot log x j you can see that reference error username is not defined in the actual application we would like to log these errors into the log files and also show some custom message to the user in the form of you know model pop-up or you know in the form of some custom message so now what we do we just see alert ex dot message so this exception will have three properties like message 
and fix that name so this is the error name it will display and the complete error message if you want you can just type ex or ex dot stack and type again j you can see that username is not defined which is nothing but the error message and then what is the error name error name is reference error and then you can see that complete error details so i have written these three alert statement to show you the properties that are available on the exception or error but in real time you just show some custom message like let's say alert so something like that you will show so so this is how you basically handle the error using the try catch block this is the basic error handling and everyone must know about this now let me just comment this catch block save it and let's go to our ui you can see that error uncut syntax error missing catch or finally after try so every try block should have at least catch or finally block here it should have catch or at least finally so what is the finally block so no matter whether there is an error or not you would like to execute some code in that case you can keep that code inside the finally block say new dot close go here and type something j it will close the browser so here as soon as you type something this code will be executed and whether this code is throwing error or not this finally block will be executed let's say instead of username name element dot value so which is you know valid code so this code will not throw error even though this code is not throwing error this finally block will be executed so now let us see same thing type j you can see that it automatically close it and you can use the try catch block and finally together so how to use it you can use like this and uncomment this and here you see we don't have error now because we assigned the correct value and this directly comes to the finally block because we don't have any error so you can see the same thing let's say type something you can see before close and it will close so let me assign something is not defined same way username now let's go and run again now let's see what will happen so whenever you type j you can see oops something went wrong so which is from the catch block and after that the finally block will be executed so you can see that first statement of the sorry the other statement of the finally block get executed then it will close the browser so this is how you can use the try catch and finally block together now let us see how to throw the error so now i am going to add one button button say id equal to button so parse json document dot query selector button dot add event listener and the event name click and arrow function which is nothing but a callback function here whenever user click on this button i would like to parse some string to the json let's say constant json equal to json dot parse of let's say i am going to have some string which is json string and i am going to print it to the console save it just click on this parse json now let me remove these double quotes here in the name so that it will throw error because now it is not a valid json string so now what will happen so as soon as you click on parse json you can see that uncaught syntax error so now this is syntax error earlier we have seen the error called reference error so this is another type of error so reference error we have seen and this is the syntax error you can see that unexpected token j in json at position 8 so this you get this kind of error when json string is not valid so now as usual we have to keep this one in the try block we should have the again catch block exception and this time this is syntax error so console.log there is some ex dot 
name save it now let's show click on it you can see that there is some syntax here let me remove this name property and have only location here i would like to have some validation like if json dot name is not available because here we removed the name property i would like to check the incoming data is having the name property or not if the name property is not there i would like to throw some error and show the user that name is missing or i would like to you know throw some message so that in the code we know that name property is not there and you should have to look for that json dot name equal to equal to undefined i would like to throw some error so how to throw error so we can use the keyword called throw in javascript so throw so i would like to throw error new i am going to create the error here new error and this will take the string or that is also optional actually so new error and they can say name is missing right name is missing ex dot message or ex dot you can display ex dot message or just leave it as ex now let's go and click on this parse json we can see that name is missing and the type is now just error so what happens here it parse this json string and after that it will check for the name property in the json and the name property is not available so here we are throwing error manually and whenever you throw error manually like this then this catch block will be fired and we can show that error here we can have some code that make a call to the server to get the valid json so if you have any doubts please leave a comment